Today we're going to do some cartridge spraying of polyurethane foam. This foam is about a three to four pound per cubic foot density and we're going to spray it on a target that's already been pre-coated with foil as a barrier coat and we use just uh, wax as the top coat, okay, nothing else. We use that 77 spray adhesive to adhere the uh, foil to this shape and that forms a really nice barrier coat so never trust foam. Foam adheres to everything so always take precautions and silicone is not really the thing to use as a release agent for the foam because it causes the foam to pop before it sets. So I've got my preloaded cartridges, I've got my cartridge gun, respirator and goggles and we're going to spray this thing. Okay, we've completed the spray operation. We sprayed about two gallons onto the target and we've actually increased the surface by three or four inches. In this case, we're gonna modify a master for another mold that we're gonna be doing. But the demonstration is quite clear. The cartridge foam is superior in that it allows you to do small amounts of foam and to a specific target without having to gear up with large plural component equipment. So it's easy, fast, and it's convenient. And it may be something that you want to add to your arsenal when manufacturing, mold making, or whatever you're doing. 